I am Dr. S. Samuda from uh, Computer Science and Engineering Department, PSR Engineering College. I would like to talk about artificial intelligence, introduction of artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? So artificial intelligence is nothing but artificial means man-made and intelligence means thinking power. Hence, the AI means man-made thinking power. Next, we are going to discuss about the definition of AI. Definition of AI, AI is, is the branch of uh, computer science that uh, deals with the create uh, intelligent machines which can behave like a human and behave like, think like a human and able to make decisions. Why artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, nowadays we are using AI is the most uh, recent technology in the world. So artificial intelligence can create uh, such a software like uh, solving real world problems, health issues, marketing and traffic issues. Next one is we can create a personal virtual assistant like Google, Sri, Cortana and uh, uh, Google Assistant. Then uh, we can, uh, with the help of AI, we can build uh, robots. Then uh, uh, it can uh, create a new technologies, uh, provide a path for new technologies and uh, new devices and new opportunities. Next, what are the goals of artificial intelligence? Here I have uh, discussed uh, the uh, replicate human intelligence and uh, solve the knowledge intensive task then uh, intelligent connection, perception and action. The perception means acquire the properties from the environment through the sensors and given to the action by the actuators. Then building a machine which can perform a task like uh, play, pro, uh, pro, playing chess and proving a theorem and plan some surgical operations and driving a car uh, with, in uh, traffic. Next, what uh, AI composed of? What are the properties AI composed of? Then uh, intelligence is an intangible part of a brain. Then it can uh, the combination of reasoning, uh, learning, problem solving, then uh, linguistic and perception. Then uh, uh, where we can use AI? AI can be used in uh, computer science, by psychology, neuroscience, and then biology, philosophy, max, and sociology. Advantages of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, high accuracy with less errors, high reliability, and useful for uh, risky areas, who digital assistant, and useful as a public utility. Then uh, disadvantages of uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, we can create a machine like uh, human intelligence, so we can, uh, uh, the cost is uh, also very high, can't think out of box and no feelings and emotions are uh, expressed in the machine, then increase the dependency on machine, then no original creativity in uh, AI. Then uh, before learning AI and uh, before uh, developing the AI, uh, we have to know the computer languages such as C, C++ and Java, Python. Python is the more advantageable for implementing the artificial intelligence. Then uh, we have the essential knowledge in mathematics like uh, uh, probability theory and some derivatives. Then uh, applications of AI. We focus on some areas and uh, most areas are uh, agriculture, education and uh, health science, the social media, finance and gaming and astronomy also. Next, history of AI. History of AI initially the first work was started in the year uh, 1943, the evolution of artificial neurons. Next, the conference was conducted in the year of uh, 1956, the birth of AI. In the John McCarthy has implemented the name or coined the name as AI in the conference of uh, Dartmouth University. 
and in 1950 Turing machine was implemented and uh, in the machine uh, machine can uh, to test the ability of uh, intelligence so it will be done in uh, uh, 1950 the first chat was uh, chatbot was implemented in uh, 1966 the first ch chatbot name is elisa and then uh, 1972 first intelligent robot was implemented uh, uh, named as uh, wabot 1 in the, in the during uh, first uh, winter ai winter session the conference was conducted uh, from uh, 1974 to 1980 the intelligence was uh, implemented first uh, the system was not uh, executed then uh, the uh, further development has been done in uh, 1980 that like uh, expert system and then uh, during the year second uh, winter uh, Second uh, AA Winter Conference has been conducted in the year 1987 and 1993. Uh, that time the government was, uh, uh, funding was uh, stopped by the government, so the uh, AA was not implemented successfully. Then 1997, from uh, now itself, uh, they can implement, IBM Deep Blue Machines was implemented, uh, the chess champion has uh, uh, won the uh, computer game then uh, 2000 from uh, 2002 uh, and uh, at present ai in home robo and 2011 they can implement a who show the ibm watch machine can win the game then uh, now we have the 2012 uh, google virtual assistant has been implemented and then at, uh, at present we have the chatbot uh, hootsman wines uh, touring test uh, the test, uh, Turing test was uh, implemented by Alan Turing that has to test the machine uh, that work with really intelligence like human or not. Then Amazon Echo has been implemented in the year 2015 with natural language processing. Then artificial intelligence was uh, categorized into two types. One is uh, type 1 and another one is type 2. The type 1 under the category of uh, uh, type 1 has uh, further classified into narrow AA, general AA and the strong AA. Then uh, type 2 has been uh, divided into reactive machines, limited memory, theory of mind and uh, uh, self-awareness. Uh, then what is narrow AA and uh, based on their uh, capabilities, uh, this has been classified narrow AA, general AA and super AA. What is narrow AA? Narrow AA to perform a uh, dedicated task with intelligence and general AA perform a task with uh, uh, some intellectual task with um, machine, human. Then uh, super AA is work with the uh, super pass human intelligence with cognitive properties. So it is an outcome of general AA. This is the types of AI. This can explain this uh, smart structure. That is narrow AI work on the dedicated uh, for one task. General AI performs like a human and super AI intelligent than human with cognitive skills. Then so uh, artificial intelligence uh, type 2 category based on functionality, it has been uh, classified into a reactive machines. This machine has uh, uh, do not store memory and past experience for uh, future actions. This uh, reactive machines is uh, IBM Deep Blue system. This is the example of reactive machine. And uh, Google AlphaGo is the example of reactive machines. Then uh, limited memory. Uh, this can uh, store the past experiences and uh, some short period of time. So this uh, uh, self-driving cause is the best example for limited memory because uh, it, uh, it can store uh, uh, speed of uh, nearby cars, distance of cars, and uh, speed limit and other information to the navigate, uh, to navigate the road. Then uh, theory of mind, this has not been implemented uh, successfully because uh, understand the human emotions and belief and people may be able to interact with uh, socially like humans. Still not developed, but research is making a lot of efforts to improve the developing uh, such uh, AI machines. Self-awareness, next, uh, next one is self-awareness. Self-awareness is the feature of uh, 
future of artificial intelligence. This will have the, have the consciousness and the sentiments and self-awareness. This can be so, smarter than uh, human, but uh, it does not exist uh, in uh, reality. Uh, so uh, still uh, hypothetical concepts are uh, no, developing under developing state. So the, in this class we have uh, seen uh, introduction of artificial intelligence and goals of in, uh, artificial intelligence and then applications of artificial intelligence and the types of artificial intelligence. Thank you.